The three types of minds. Which is yours? The mind is a complex topic to discuss. It has so many different aspects, including consciousness, thought, perception, beliefs, desires, sensations, and so on. Since all of these processes are intangible, it makes the mind that much more difficult to comprehend. However, we can see the output in these processes in ideas and actions. And these brain activities don't just happen at random. Rather, they follow patterns or blueprints that we acquire throughout our lives. This does not imply that the mind is immutable. Everything in the brain is subject to change. That said, psychologists have categorized the mind into three different types, and each of them has its own differentiating characteristics. Let's learn more about them. Fluid Mind You've more than likely heard the phrase, go with the flow. Well, whoever said that probably had a fluid mind. These people are laid back, and they tend to be inconsistent and struggle to be in control. They're almost childlike in that they need a lot of guidance, direction, and hand-holding. People with fluid minds don't take the initiative very often. They lack determination, don't set goals, and don't always see things through to the end. They usually wait for others to set their goals for them and to push them toward those goals. Their ways are likely rooted in the insecurity that they might fail. So instead, they delegate tasks to people they believe are capable of doing a better job. This can make people with fluid minds sound useless. But that's not true. They just succeed more as subordinates rather than leaders. And not everyone can be a leader, because then, who would follow? So it all works out. Fluid-minded people might be frustrating co-workers, but it's those same characteristics that can make them great partners and friends. They're more relaxed, carefree, and not at all perfectionistic. The spontaneity makes them fun and adventurous. Instead of controlling everything, they tend to take things one day at a time. Rigid Mind On the other end of the spectrum are people with rigid minds, often the result of rigid parenting. It's also a type of defense mechanism. These people are usually firm, deliberate, and have a strong need for control. In the workplace, they are great at jobs that require a lot of discipline and have many rules. This framework gives them a sense of control. Conversely, their rigidity can sometimes cause others to perceive them as superficial because they never let their guard down to loosen up or to stop and smell the roses. Everything must be done in an orderly fashion and they are strict about following rules. They have control issues and feel incredibly uncomfortable when they're not holding the reins, which can cause them tremendous inner turmoil. The rigid-minded are rarely creative and have a tough time getting out of their comfort zone. This can make them seem boring, but sometimes people just need a little push to get out there and try something new. Flexible Mind If we're thinking about mind types based on the concept of control, Fluid-minded people are on the one side, actively avoiding control. On the other side are the rigid-minded people, who must have control to feel comfortable. Right in the middle, then, are what we call flexible minds. These people are balanced and open-minded. Like fluid-minded people, they are adaptable and easygoing, but they differ in that they don't just accept whatever's thrown at them. If you think of fluid-minded people as passive, rigid-minded people as aggressive, then flexible-minded people would be in between, as assertive. They are definitely not doormats. These individuals are creative and smart. They have their own opinions and are open-minded enough to listen to what others have to say, but they are not easily swayed. Instead, they analyze things and weigh their decisions carefully. They are not mindless followers. Additionally, people with flexible minds have a way of putting others at ease. They are easy to talk to and they aren't judgmental or condescending. Even if they disagree with you, they won't put you down, as they're always open to fresh ideas and different perspectives. This makes flexible-minded people friendly, humble, and uncomplicated, the type of people that are easy to get along with and are comfortable to be around. It's important to note that most people don't fall strictly into one of these types of minds. We all have a little of each, but the features of one of the three usually dominate. Now it may sound like we should all strive to be flexible-minded, and that may be true. The important part is that you take a look at who you really are and why you are that way. Challenge yourself to be better, not to fit within a label. If you're too fluid or too rigid, you may miss out on some great experiences and opportunities. 
Balance and self-improvement is what it's all about. What do you think? Which type of mind do you have? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends so we can keep making them. For more videos like this, hit the subscribe button and remember to click on the notification bell. Also, be sure to check out our other videos as well. Thanks for watching.